How's it going everyone? So as many of you guys know, I have not been making videos in a couple months. I've not uploaded anything. I have not edited anything. Um, and that's for good reason. I've been fairly busy. So Thermal Paste and Flux is evolving. Um, it's getting bigger and bigger and it is displacing more and more of the Mac repair work. Um, now with that being said, I'm still always gonna fix Macs or recover data from Macs. Um, however, Thermal Paste is growing and Thermal Paste and Flux will become the main part of my business probably within the next coming year. So when I started doing Thermal Paste and Flux, um, it started out as a literal corner, and when I mean a corner, I mean a the actual like four foot corner, not even four foot, two foot corner of a bench in the room that we did shipping to make thermal paste. Um, and then it grew to a small room inside my old, old office. Um, started getting busier and busier, businesses, business changed, and then it, um, became time to, you know what, we needed a bigger space. Um, and when that happened, um, you know, I basically made Thermal Place and Flux where I'm making it now, which is in a large, like 700 square foot uh, room in my current office. However, now we're at a point where that's getting to be too small. Um, you know, when we have orders, you know, in, up into the thousands, it's just, it's too cramped, uh, you need more space. So, I decided to lease a new building um, for thermal paste and flux manufacturing as well as repair and data recovery. So in 2024, I want to focus more on data recovery versus repair. And that's for numerous reasons. One being the quality of aftermarket parts is just not good. I mean, most of the battery replacements that I've done in 20 uh 2022 and 2023 especially on the 15 inches have come back with bad batteries not my fault it's just batteries um doesn't matter what manufacturer you get them from they're all crappy the apple self-service repair is a nice program for screens but it's still a pain to deal with and it's expensive and no one wants to wait seven days for screens so in my opinion mac repair is a dying industry um, for general repair. For board repair, it's not. For data recovery, it's becoming more and more prevalent with these soldered on SSDs and the boards that fail in very, you know, weak ways that you don't have to do anything wrong and they just end up failing, you know, two years into use and you can't get your data back. With that being said, I want to give you guys a little peek of the building that we will move to in the coming weeks. Now, I... Last time I announced it really early, and when I announced it really early, um, I got floods of messages like, "When? what's your new address? I want to send something in this and that. I don't want that this time. So if you are a customer of ours and you want to send in a device, make a ticket as usual. When you create a ticket, you're automatically going to get a confirmation email, and that confirmation email will have the address um, to send your device into. So... Until that address changes on that confirmation email, continue sending your devices to the old location. Um, we still have some walk-ins and everything that we need to handle over there, but probably probably February 3rd or so, um, we'll start uh, moving stuff over here and hopefully get operational. Anyway, so you walk into this place. You know, it's pretty nice, whatever. It's not a retail location, it's an industrial location, which is fine. I don't want retail board care. I don't want a retail uh, walk-in repair. I want data recovery and, you know, board repair. Um, anyway, you walk in, you have this nice room, and this is going to be our repair room. We're going to have 16 inches of bench, uh, 16 feet of bench space on both sides of this. That is more than enough um, to have, you know, four soldering stations and general repair area. That's all we need. Walking through, we're gonna have this room here, which it's still not done yet, uh, but this room I'd like to have as a YouTube, like an interview type place. Like, hey, it'll be set up for, you know, for YouTube for possibly guest speakers, people I want to interview, so on and so forth. Um, you have a little sink and kitchen, but the main part of this is the whole warehouse section that spans all the way back. And you have a bay here, if you want to back up a trailer or something to it, if it, gets big enough where I need a trailer. 
but you have all this space for thermal paste and flux manufacturing. And this is ultimately what I need. I cannot do this stuff in a small corner of an office anymore. I need space, I need expansion. Um, we have 220 volts here um, that will support bigger mixing machines to make more volume of paste at a given time, um, as well as other equipment that we use. Uh, this, I'm not, this is another 220 volt. Um, but yeah, it's definitely growing and we'll have more room for supplies and shipping. This is going to be our shipping area, our shipping bench area, which is nice to have. Um, you know, a bench built in already, already here. Um, but yeah, this is the new place. Uh, if anyone is local to the Palmdale area and wants these, please let me know because these are going on Facebook Marketplace for free. So if you want these, send an email to service at tcrcircuit.repair and um, we could set up a time and you can pick up these desks if you want. I'll probably keep one, but um, yeah, if you want those, let me know. But yeah, this is the new space. Um, it's gonna work out really nice, I think. And yeah, just in the back here, we have a bathroom. You know, just standard, but yeah, thermal paste and flux is definitely evolving and my our manufacturing capabilities are also evolving you know when we when i started out i could not manufacture even a portion of the capabilities that we have now as far as like with thermal paste with nanomaterials and all that stuff um so it's definitely getting bigger um there's going to be a bunch of new products dropping in the this year as well so just to talk about a couple of them i'm not breathing so when i'm talking so I'll catch my breath for a second but as far as on the flux side of things, um, the original Citraflow is getting discontinued. It's gonna get replaced with Citraflow Gen 2, which is a lighter resin-based flux, which is gonna work really, really well. And there's also gonna be a completely plant-based flux uh, coming out, and that is going to be a industry first. No one else has done it, and we'll be the first to release that, and that's gonna be out soon as well. So just to sum it up, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.